Bucks hosting the Pacers, game number five, and the Pacers are four-point road favorites. The over-under is at 216.5. The Pacers are minus 184 on the money line, and the Bucks are plus 154. Now, they did do some shuffling with the schedule, and I think they did this to see if they can give the Bucks a little bit more time to see if Giannis and Damian Lillard will actually play in this game. Now, as far as the lineups for tomorrow's game, it's supposed to be Halliburton, Nemhart, Neesmith, Siakam, Turner. Halliburton is listed as questionable with back spasms. And then Beverly, uh, Beasley, Middleton, Portis, and Lopez. Beverly is listed as probable, and so is Middleton. You're not going to get the best of the best in this game, and it's uh, it's interesting. Damian Lillard leaves the Blazers to come to the Bucks, and all he gets is uh, an extra two weeks of uh, play and then he's going to be in Cancun soon. Head to head, the Pacers are seven and three. The Pacers are on a three game winning streak. The home team's on a two game winning streak. The home team is six and four. The underdog is seven and three against the spread. The underdog is six and four on the money line. Over is hitting their last three. Over is seven and three. And the over 216 and a half is nine and one. Of the games that they've played in the playoffs, only one game went under. 216 and a half and that was game number one that the Bucks won 109-94 and then the Pacers won the next three 125-108 121-118 in overtime and then 126-113 that was without Lillard and that was without Giannis the game still went over the overs hitting their last three that they played against each other in the postseason Pacers with the money line Pacers laying the points and the over and unfortunately for Bucks fans you know Injuries are a part of the game, and it sucks when this happens. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.